Hello and welcome. Today I'm gonna show you how to create grass in Illustrator so it looks kind of like it does in the image that you can see right now. So start off by creating a new document in Illustrator and then grab your pen tool. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna create the shape of the grass straws that we want. So I like to go kind of like that and I actually want to make around three of them I find that's the best so maybe like that and then you can select all of them and change it to this shape and then if we just zoom in a bit we can with them selected we can select our width tool and just make them a little bit smaller so they look a more like grass straws and also after we have done this we can we select them and just remove the fill and now we should probably move them a little bit closer together also so maybe something like that is probably good uh, yeah and then select all of them go into your brushes panel and if you if you can't find it you can click window and then brushes and it will pop up so then in your brushes panel click this icon and new brush and you want to create a scatter brush so press ok and you want to set all of these to random uh, what this does is when we use our brush we take this symbol and we just we just paint it over and over again on the line that we draw and with our random parameters here it will randomize and make it a little bit different every time so for size I like to go from 10% to 100% and for spacing I, I, want to, uh, I want them to be really close to each other so I, I like to go from like 10 to 20% and scatter I like to keep kind of low uh, under 100 at least so maybe like this and that maybe and for rotation I find that uh, between 40 and 50 is pretty good and for the colorization method use hue shift it will make it this will make it possible to change the color afterwards and then press ok and i also like to select just one of them and create a brush so we can use that for some details in the end so just select one of them and do the same thing again uh, and for this one uh, you can use the same randomize settings or you can just play around a little bit with them to see which, what you like but i'm gonna use pretty much the same except for the except for the scatter where i'm gonna go for a little bit lower because i i want to know where i'm placing placing my straws so maybe something like that and then between 40 and 50 it's, it's okay and the hue shift and okay so now you can see we have our two brushes here and then if we zoom out again and select our, our brush tool you can see that we can draw these straws like this and if we choose this one we draw them in the first shape and by using this you can create a field of grass and with the brush tool selected you can actually change color of the brush or the grass actually so if we just take our color uh, what I actually want to do is I, I'm gonna choose a color that already is set in Illustrator maybe that one and this draw and as you can see the grass straws is that color and you can change the opacity like this and you can change like the stroke width and they will get bigger so this is pretty much all you need to know to be able to create your own field of grass and if you want some tips and tricks you can keep on watching the video all right now for some tips and tricks what i like to start to do is i like to make a mask for the area where i want my grass to be so let's say you want your grass to be in the whole image just draw a rectangle around the image 
and just make it a mask by clicking this icon and as you can see now we can only draw inside it doesn't make every, anything outside and uh, secondly what I like to do is uh, get my swatches menu out and my color guides out and you can find both of them in here color guides and swatches and what the color guide does is if you select any color in here uh, it will create some shades and tints for that color which make it easy to select color for your grass and uh, what I also like to do is uh, have for the fill in the in the mask I like to have it as a background color for the grass and I find that uh, a dark green color works the best and also if uh, if I do this I like to have an a gradient as to fill so it can go from from dark at the bottom to a little bit brighter at the top so let's create that and if we have this one selected you can see that we have two dark green colors here that I think should work pretty good so as you can see I already have them down here but to get them down there you can just drag and drop and in your in your if you select your square and in the in the gradients and you can now change it to those color by going into this this one and selecting them so this one I want to be the darker and this one I want to be the brighter like that and as you can see now we have a dark green background okay so now it's time to start drawing grass I like to start by drawing the the dark grass first and get the base layer of grass that you can draw your highlights onto later on and what I also like to do is I like to start from the bottom to the top because uh, the, the grass on the bottom here should be a little bit bigger since it's closer to the, the camera or like the viewpoint so uh, if you just start by selecting a like a darker color and as you can see it we can now draw like this but uh, I don't like to have the opacity at 100% I like to have it a little bit down so maybe around 70 and uh, start with the big like the biggest strokes so maybe two points and it actually changed it back but now yeah now it should be two points and you just draw a base layer like this and now you can make it a little bit smaller maybe 1.5 should probably be good and just work your way upwards like this and uh, don't worry about covering everything just make a base layer of this darker grass maybe something like this and now you can make it even smaller again and work your way upwards Okay, so now that you have your base layer created, you can, I recommend you to group it all so you can change it later, everything at the same time. So if you just select everything and go into your layers and press the eye icon on the background square, you will get uh, all of the grass selected and then you press Ctrl G and group, group it all. This makes it easy to change the opacity of all the grass at the same time and you can also play around with the transparency settings. So now you can add another layer of grass with the mid-tones in uh, the same way. As you can see it didn't put the grass inside the mask so we have to do that manually which uh, actually is good since it makes it a lot easier to just group it. So what you can do is just scroll down to your mask, uh, mask and just press the icon and then press ctrl A to select all of the grass and ctrl G to group it. And now we have a group of your R or mid-tones and just drag it into the mask and uh, click the icon again 
So now we have this group that have the midtones and since I think it looks a little bit too, too bright, we can drag the opacity down. So I'm actually just gonna hide the edges so I can see what I'm doing and just drag this down a little bit, maybe 60% something. Yeah, that's, that's a little bit better. We can see it has some mid-tones but not too much. Alright, so now it's time to add some highlights. So we can start by changing to the other brush we created and then change the color to, yeah, let's go for the brightest one. And of course the same as before, drag the opacity down. I don't know, around 70 should probably be good. And then for the special thing about this is if you go into the transparency options and either go for screen or overlay, I find that overlay works best most of the time, but uh, you can try and find what you like the best. So uh, now if we start drawing, we should get a little bit of highlights. Yeah, and uh, that's a little bit too small, so we can drag the stroke size up a little bit. And yeah, as you can see, we get some highlights in the grass. And uh, a tip I have is to draw like a curve in from the edge, like like you saw me do there. And the more you draw at the same place, the lighter it gets. So just uh, put in some highlights where you think it's necessary. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much what I had for this tutorial. So if you have any questions, ask them in the comments and thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.